Leading off the day here today in the CAA from William & Mary at Kaplan Arena. Nice to have you along with us. Full slate of games here. It begins uh, with us this afternoon. George Mason and William & Mary. George Mason coming off the blowout win against Towson a couple days ago, 84-58. to And William & Mary falling to Delaware by four as a three is on the way and good by Julian Boatner. Morris it again inside basket and a foul on the feed from Cam Long. That's what makes Cam Long so good is because he can do so many things on the floor. He can put the ball on the floor and create for the other people as well as for himself. He's battling right now down low with Mike Morrison and George Mason. Well, I know sometimes when you play in this late in the year, another knockdown three by Luke Hancock. Mason's on a 9 0 run here. McDowell for three. Got it and he will take double-digit shots if necessary. Actually, the second lead, they led early 3-2 on a three-pointer, and speaking of which, Cam Long comes right back for Mason and drains it. A better job in that department of keeping turnovers down, helping them stay in ball games. Brett for three, and the lead. Count it. Offensive board, and you know, again, now sometimes you got to play defense for almost a minute here. If you use up the whole shot clock, you got to be got to be disciplined. Hits! Wow, what a shot. Kitch is very athletic. He wants to catch a ball and get to the rim and dunk. Awesome year last year. Lost a lot of guys. It's understandable. Here's Morris. That's up. <laughs> Still have a one-point lead. And every time Mason got something good, they was penetrating to the basket. Gaylord wide open for three. Now, excellent hustle by Pearson. He couldn't grab it, but he kept it alive. Cornelius now for three. And this game is tied at 35. It's high from Matt Rump. McDowell rejected by Pearson. And a good job by Cam Long to save it from going out. Long. That's good if it goes. And it is. Cam Long at the buzzer at the end of the half. So make sure you tune in for that. The first of six games in league play today in this final Saturday in January. Cornelius and comes back with the three with deficit. Well, you still have to continue to run your offense, take quality shots that you have been getting, and it's hopefully that your shots go in. Heads up for Cam Long on the drive and the thunder dunk for two. Thought he got fouled again as he's got to play more to the officials now, not the game. But here's a long three by John Mark Ludwig. And a chance, I think, for a lot of teams to make some noise. Hopefully the committee starts to look at that. Here's a three-pointer on the way good by Matt Rum for William & Mary trying to close the gap. They have to find out where he is. He might be a little small because they don't know where he is. Uh -oh. Heads up play by Luke Hancock. The defender had his back turned. He threw it off his back and laid it in for a deuce. That's what I mean by heady. Harris Bennett, Johnny Williams, and Luke Hancock, the five on the court. Put it up and under, moved by Cam Law in the paint. And here's the opportunity for Mason. Tate on the drive, basket, and a foul. Well, big ball game. Those two teams, six and four, tied for fifth in the CAA. That's going to be a good one for the Bob Carpenter Center. And here's a three by Isaiah Tate. It was accidental, but I guess yeah. the officials saw something totally different. LU play to Hancock from Paris Bennett on the top. And George Mason cannot relax on defense because this team is very capable. As we see McDowell knocking down a three. That's six points in less than a minute. Be close against Mason as of late. Out of their six-game winning streak as Pearson gets an easy two. Have now won seven in a row. Coach Larinaga's team on the season now goes to 17 and 5 and 9 and 2 in the CAA. At the Carpenter Center here in snowy Newark, Delaware, it's a showdown with major conference ramifications. The University of Delaware hosting James Madison University. Not quite as good as the all-time great name, Dwayne Dwayne, but not bad either, Humpty Hitchens. Uh, Sadler strikes again. The pecking order and this food chain of uh, talent acquisition at the D1 level. Devon Sadler, the first three-pointer of the afternoon. Uh, here's that Delaware steal off the bounce pass attempt. Sadler's got it again. This time, good defense by Chad Jackson. Carter for three. They're holding a pretty substantial lead here for the midway point of the first half. Shot clock at five. The long shot by Brian Johnson. Somebody that I'm sure was not primary on the JMU scouting report. Here's that battle, Brinkley against Bowles. And this time, Denzel Bowles. 
Bowles attacking on the inside, gets pinned under the glass. Hitchens for three. There is Humpty Hitchens bearing the first three for JMU. And JMU just oh, asleep, and they were asleep on that inbounds play. As primary scorers have been clutch for the Blue Hens this afternoon. Bowles cleans up the Goins miss. Hitchens looks for a three and got it. An uphill fight for James Madison. We know they have the scores to cut into this if they can get some stops. But they can't stop Josh Brinkley. Particularly a guy who's had so much success at Delaware because he's lived this and can exemplify it to the guys on the team now. In a Delaware uniform, he's come a long way in a relatively short period of time. Cross court to T.J. Boney, and it continues to roll. Denzel Bowles, you got to roll the dice if you're ever going to get back in this game. <laughs> if Carter keeps shooting that way, you can forget it. You may be right. Getting a good look at Jackson, who's a pretty impressive athletic freshman, and he is fouled and gets the roll. And Buzz Peterson and the Seahawks of UNC Wilmington. Humpty Hitchens hard to the glass and gets fouled. Who's coming back to the contest? Sadler loses it on the way up. And a great play by Hitchens to keep it alive. Here's more ahead for Denzel Bowles. Another three-point play possibility. Pretty impressive. I think you could play double tight end with Denzel, and he could be both of them. And there was Bowles blocking Sadler's shot. More to the hole and scores. Carter with the lead down to four. Pretty much unmolested to the hole, and he'll get a three-point opportunity out of it. When will Monte Ross, with 8-10 to go, think about bringing him back in this game? As Bowles continues to work one and one, uses the window, and will get a trip to the line. So Boney finally beats the pressure. Now Sadler stripped of the basketball by Julius Wells. The fake to Moore, and a blocking foul called against Delaware, and the basket counts. That would be giving Monte Ross the Delaware bench. A little bit of time with Hagens on the bench and his four fouls. Bob Denzel Bowles, which turned out to be a dynamite basketball game here in Newark, Delaware, between Delaware and James Madison University. Bowles, the fadeaway, is feeling it now. Less than a minute to go. Here is Julius Wells, who now has 19 on the day. I Meaning Delaware will definitely get one more opportunity. Down two at this point. Will it be more? Literally, will it be more? Devon Moore got it to go. Down 19 with 13.35 left in the second half. And how about that comeback? Matt Brady on the road gets it done here in Delaware. The final, 77-71. That's Polk. Had a brief moment and squeezed out the shot. Good, quick release. Fillmore, good look inside. And Dupree got it. Morris, good extra pass to Polk. And he got it again. Race shot, Polk. Liatis. Oh, my. Did not call glass. We'll take it anyway. Thank you. Ray Connor in play on the point now for Towson. And from long range, Josh Brown down in the left corner. Is it hard to stay up? We'll see that. Yep. It's also hard to keep track of the guy along the baseline. There's Polk, who hit a couple of shots early. The pass was there to Brown. Now it's too late. And with one on the timer. Oh! Right in front of Blaine Taylor in the Old Dominion bench. You want to talk about a shot. Now James leads him down with under two and a half left here in the first half. Baysmore. Line drive three. At halftime with the lead, despite perhaps not playing their best half of basketball. As an air ball. And the putback won't go. The tip follow will. Hassell, his first point since early in the half. Once again, milking as much clock as possible before starting the offense. And how about that from Rayshad Polk? Finney is wide open. He had all day to think about that one. As much as you want, wherever it is. And now off the steal. Sliding it ahead. Pull pretty catch. And good athletic play for the finish. Baysmore, the drop step. 
That was gorgeous. I don't know that they get matched throughout the rest of the CAA in that size package. Baysmore got it. A backside help defender so critical in your ability to stop the dribble penetration. Baysmore's feeling it right now. Great venue for concerts. So you know what? John's going to be here in March. I saw that. Did you buy me tickets? No. Finney from outside. He's only 23% from the three-point line. Looked good on that one. That looked pretty good, too. Yeah. Easy. Continue to play hard. They continue to execute well. There's Finney from the outside. His second three of the second half. Long range. And another three for Old Dominion. This has been a little bit of a three-point shooting party in the second half. Once again, our final score, Old Dominion 80, Towson 57. Follow all the action of CAA basketball online at caasports.com.